Good day, ma'am. I am J.N. Manundo, and I am here to discuss about the eight classification of employees. So the first one is regular employees, second is casual employees, third is seasonal employees, the fourth is project employees, fifth is probationary employees, sixth is employees for fixed term, and seventh is overseas Filipino workers or OFWs and lastly the eight is special workers so special workers like apprentices learners and handicapped workers so what is the regular employees so a regular employee typically refers to an individual who is employed by a company or organization on a permanent basis they are typically hired to work a standard numbers of hours per week and are entitled to certain employment benefits and protections so some examples of regular employees are office workers teachers healthcare professionals manufacturing workers retail workers and etc so the second is casual employees so casual employees also known as a temporary employees these are individuals who are hired on a non-permanent basis to fulfill short-term or intermittent work needs unlike regular employees so a casual employees do not have a long-term commitment or expectation of ongoing employment so we have five case characteristics of casual employment employees so first is irregular work schedules lack of job security limited employment benefits flexible employment arrangement and hourly or daily wages so the third is the seasonal employees so seasonal employees are individuals who are hired to work during specific seasons or periods of high demand in industries that experience fluctuations in business activity throughout the year so these temporary workers are brought on board to meet the increased workload and demands associated with particular seasons or events so seasonal employment can be found in various sectors including retail hospitality tourism agriculture and outdoor recreation so the fourth is the project employees so what is project employees so project employees also known as contract employees or project-based workers so so these individuals who are hired for a specific project or assignment with a defined scope and duration so these employees are typically engaged to work on a specific project or initiative that has a clear start and end date and their employment is contingent upon the completion of the of that subject so another example of project employees is it doesn't mean na kapag umabot ka ng more than 2 to 3 years, you are a regular employee. So, ibig sabihin, hanggat hindi pa natapos yung project mo, you're still a project employee. So, unless kung natapos na yung project mo, pero hindi ka pa pinatigil or gipa continue ka pa, then you are a regular employee. So, the fifth is the probationary employees. So, probationary employees also known as probationary or a trial period employees these are individuals who have recently been hired by a company or organizations and are undergoing a probationary period so this period is a trial phase designed to evaluate the employee's performance skills and suitability for the positions before confirming them as permanent employees so here are some example of probationary employees so the first one is entry-level positions graduate trainees professional roles sales and marketing positions technical or skilled trades and lastly is teaching positions or etc so the sixth is the employees for fixed term so employees on fixed term contracts are individuals who are hired for a specific durations or fixed period of time unlike regular or permanent employees their employment is limited to a predetermined period 
which is agreed upon by the employer and the employee at the time of hiring. So fixed term contracts are commonly used for temporary projects, seasonal work, maternity leave cover, or a to address short-term business needs. So the seventh is the overseas Filipino workers. So, overseas Filipino workers or the OFWs are individuals from the Philippines who are employed in the foreign countries. So, they leave their home country to seek employment opportunities abroad, often due to factors such as limited job opportunities, higher wages, and the desire to support their families financially. So, OFWs contribute significantly to the Philippine economy through remittances sent back home. They work in a wide range of industries and occupations, including healthcare, domestic work, construction, engineering, information technology, hospitality, and more. So, the eighth is the special workers. So, special workers like apprentice, learners, and handicapped workers. So, the apprentice is an individual who undergoes a period of training and learning in a specific trade, profession, or skill set under the guidance of supervision of a skilled mentor or employer. So, apprenticeships are structured programs that combine on-the-job training with classroom instruction, allowing individuals to acquire practical experience and theoretical knowledge in a particular field. So apprenticeships are typically offered in industries such as construction, manufacturing, healthcare, information technology, culinary arts, and more. The learners it generally refers to individuals who are engaged in the process of acquiring knowledge, skills, or competencies through various educational or training programs. So learners can be of any age and can participate in formal education, informal learning, or professional development activities. The term learners is often used to emphasize the activi active role or individuals in the learning process and their pursuit of knowledge or skills. Then the handicap workers. workers. The term handicap workers was previously used to refer to individuals with disabilities who are part of the workforce. However, it is now more of appropriate to use the term workers with disabilities or employees with disabilities to, to reflect a more inclusive and respectful approach. These individuals have diverse abilities and talents and can contribute to the workplace with proper support and accommodations. Thank you.